Welcome to Port Royal, Mr. Smith. Hold up there, you. It's a shilling to tie up your boat at the dock. And I shall need to know your name. What do you say to three shillings? And we forget the name. Welcome to Port Royal, Mr. Smith. You should say it. Yeah? Welcome back. We are at Disney's Caribbean Beach. Caribbean, Caribbean Beach. Beach. Tomato, tomato. We're at that resort. We came here today a couple reasons. We've never really been here. We've never stayed here before. No, we visited some family that were staying here. We were here for maybe 10 minutes in their pirate themed room, which was kind of cool. <laughs> right, so at the time I thought every room was a pirate room, but that's no, not the case. No, it's special. There's special pirate rooms. A lot of construction was done here last year, late 2017, 2018, I guess. They renovated what they call the old Port Royal area, which is where the amenities are. We are at banana the cabana. Banana Cabana. Banana cabana. It's That's fun, fun to say. To say. <laughs> and I think there's a bistro next door, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Sebastian. Bistro, which mm -hmm. I don't know if I don't know if these were renovated or moved or they're new. They might be new. They did a lot of renovation here, and I think part of it was because they demolished part of the resort. Oh, so part of the for... Barbados and um, one of the, or maybe I forget one of the other areas here. They actually demolished to make room for Riviera the Riviera Resort, the new DVC. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some of the rooms here are pirate themed, in which... Arg. Arg. But when we saw that room, we were like, are they all like this? They seemed a little dated. And then I read that they renovated most of the rooms here, and I'm like, wait, we were just there. You're telling me they renovated them to look like the pirate room? But that's not the I case. I don't think so. No. The resort opened, I think, in 1988. And again, on property here or adjacent to here is the new DVC Riviera Resort. Should be opening soon. They're already taking I, reservations. I think December. Mm -hmm. And it's themed on uh, Walt and Lillian Disney's travels throughout Europe, right, France Europe. and Italy, the Mediterranean Which is shoreline. It's funny to me because the theming is so very different between the two resorts. Well, they're not going to be. They're not going to be connected. They're not going to be co-joined. I don't well, think. Well, they're so connected they... by the water here, though. You look across the water, and there's the Riviera. The water, Barefoot, Barefoot. Bay, 45 acres of water here. Mm -hmm. Looks like they have some water sports here. I don't know if there's boats you can rent or if Looks they take like you it. out on them. Yeah. But yeah, so the Riviera Resort is going to be on the same water, and. The resort here and I think Riviera, are they both stops on the big gondola? They the, are. the Disney they Skyliner, are. which you can see the station. It's like right next to the Riviera. And I guess there's also a station probably over by the entrance of the Caribbean right. Beach, you which don't buy it coming in. from aerial photographs, looking at it on the map, it looks like that's also going to be like the maintenance storage area because the backside has like almost a little yard where you can tell the gondolas. Can they kind pull of park them into, there. Right, mm -hmm. so they might store them there. Like, I wonder if the weather's bad, do they, like, not just stop them, do they take them off of the Skyliner cables? Oh, well, they probably and park would them need all? something like that if there's oh. going to be a hurricane or something. They can't leave those things if hanging. If there's on a the hurricane, wire. they probably. And then they have to have some place to take them if they need maintenance or refurbishing right. or, right? Silly us. We're supposed to talk about our drinks first because we drink before we do things. Well, like we said, we're at the Banana Cabana? Banana Cabana. Say it five times fast. No. <laughs> so we started here because we have a couple drinks. I went with a Kona IPA that the bartender suggested. It's a pineapple IPA. I'm not sure if it has a name or not, but that's what I went with. So I've got a pineapple IPA. Mm -hmm. And you went with your... I've had it before. You've had it a bunch I've had of it times. on other videos. Yeah, the Blue Mad... Blue Point Mad Seed Lager. It's a sea salt and watermelon lager. So, cheers. Tastes more like the watermelon rind than the meat of the watermelon. So just know it's not sweet. It's a little bit bitter. Where all these amenities are located here at the Caribbean Beach is Old Port Royal. I think that the amenities might have been relocated when they did the construction and reorganization. I'm not sure if they just rebuilt know. it 
where in the same location, or I think they moved it, because there's another pool down by the very end where, where the sidewalk is now blocked off because of the construction and you would enter into where the Riviera is. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they had to move everything further down. But anyways, we're in Old Port Royal. Makes me think of Pirates of the Car Caribbean. Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. Pirates, parrots, parrots and pirates. Just pirates, not parrots. Old Port Royal, right. as in Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. We saw Jack Sparrow earlier. He was at the bar, but the, the rum's all gone, so he left. But why is the rum gone? Just wait, Captain Sparrow. So I assume this area where the amenities are that's called Port Royal, maybe it's spelt differently, but maybe it's supposed to be themed after the Port Royal, the famous pirate Port Royal in Jamaica, which is where um, Kingston Harbor, 1600s, known as the most wicked city on earth at the time. Really? Wicked. Because it was just, well, first of all, actually, so it was, um, in Jamaica, it was right along the Spanish shipping routes when uh, England took possession of Port Royal or Jamaica from the Spanish. They realized that they were now surrounded by the Spanish Navy, so they encouraged privateers or pirates to, in the name of the king, attack the Spanish shipping trade. So at the time, Spain had colonized South America and they were shipping all of their pillaged treasures, gold and artifacts and gems and jewels were all being shipped out of South America and the ships would stop and I think in Havana Harbor because it was secure and then travel back to Spain and the pirates would attack them after that and take all their loot to Port Royal which at one point made Port Royal uh, the center of more wealth than the most wealthiest trading spots around the world and in Europe. Interesting. These are the fun facts folks. Mm -hmm. And they, it was known that like in its heyday, an average pirate would spend in one night in Port Royal what most people made in a year. And one in every four buildings in Port Royal was either a bar or a brothel. It's not like that here at Disney's <laughs> Port Royal. No, not at all. But Port Royal, the wealthiest party city in the world, party wickedest party, wicked, wicked party city of the world. All came to an end. 1692, 7.5 magnitude earthquake and a tidal wave wiped out the city. 2,000 people died immediately. It was like a third of the population. And then two things happened after that. Um, a city that was kind of lawless anyways turned into complete chaos. Like the people that survived, the, the ruthless pirates like just pillaged and took whatever they wanted. And then all the corpses and dead people floated into the city and disease wiped out another 3,000 people and good grief the rest of the world kind of saw it as like God's will because it was you know this terrible place where pirates and privateers um, was a harbor so that's where uh, terrible. yeah well but a little backdrop there so you know where Jack Sparrow sails in with the what was it the Black Pearl yeah and he, and he <laughs> sails in to Port Royal It's a downer, a major downer. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. I mean, there is water, but... No pillaging that I've seen. Oh, Disney does their share of pillaging. Oh, I can, we I can, did not. We <laughs> I can show you my bank account. <laughs> Riviera Resort, 15th DVC Resort. Crazy. Crazy. I, Remember, I'm pretty sure I remember when they built the first one, right? The old Key West. Because your parents bought in. My parents bought into the very first DVC. Back then they... They just were, called it the Vacation Club. Vacation Club, and they were trying to get people to join. Nobody would join. They used to give you a free length of... Length of stay pass length of stay for everyone pass in the room. For everybody that stayed with you on your reservation Those for all the, the days. parks. Yeah, they don't do that anymore. But I also read, fun fact, that when they built this one, that while they're building this one, this DVC, that... If you buy resale DVC, meaning you didn't buy your DVC directly from Disney, right. that you can only use your DVC points for the for the first 14. So like the new DVC resorts they build starting with this one, you can't book points there if you have resale and didn't buy direct from Disney. Really? So maybe that's true, maybe it's not, maybe they'll change it, but if you 
heard anything, let us know. But that's what I read. Well, I know they've been restricting some of the perks that you get as a resale purchase as opposed to buying direct from Disney. Yeah. Interesting. So I wonder if they're trying to eventually try to squeeze out there's flies here in the it, Port yeah, Royal. It's crazy. There's pirates and flies. Right. Um, I'm sorry, I wonder if they're trying to squeeze out resale. Interesting. So Good deal. we'll see what happens. So Riviera Resort, I think 300 rooms. They have a new level of room too. They have those, um, what do they call them, tower studios or something that only sleep two people. Oh. Whereas, are they, are they like, whereas conventional DVC studios sleep up to five people. So only two people, but are they in a location that's like more desired? Or are they, they account, like, are they more efficient in cheaper points? Or are they I think more they're points? cheaper points. Oh, well, that would be good if you're only It'd a couple and you us, don't need yeah. yeah. So a while back, we went to um, Coronado Springs and we saw the Destino Tower. Yeah. Haven't been there since it opened, but one of the things we saw or read about was the uh, rooftop restaurant, yes. which must be a little bit of their new theme because the Riviera has a rooftop restaurant as well. Mm -hmm. Topolino's, I believe. Mm -hmm. Topolino's Terrace. Mm -hmm. Rooftop, signature dining. You can see the fireworks from mm -hmm. Epcot there, which is similar to the whole theme and what they sell, the, um, what is it, what's the tapas? Toledo. Toledo, Toledo at Toledo. Destino. At Destino right. And so Topolino is the Italian term for Mickey Mouse. I read that. Which is bizarre, because it doesn't sound anything like Mickey Mouse. Like well, it's, it's not in English. It's I know, in I know, but still. So, and then I guess there's a lobby little cafe, which is called the Le, Pe Le Petit Cafe, which is a like cafe during the day and wine bar at night. Oh, oh, I think it's right so, up our rally. We try to do all the Disney bars and we're working our way through, but I think they're on to us. I think they're building them faster than we can get there because they, okay. they just want to keep ahead of us. That's okay. So we'll have to get there and we have to get to Destino Tower yeah. soon too. Yeah. Yes. All right, so there you go. Today we're at Caribbean or Caribbean, Caribbean. Beach. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Postscript. Another fun fact. Another fun fact. So here at the Banana Cabana, talking to the bartenders, great people, Patrick and Jojo. Yeah. Turns awesome. out there is a Facebook group just for this bar. Caribbean Beach Banana Cabana Friends. We've sent our request to join. I'm hoping somebody accepts it. Maybe, maybe they'll let us into the super secret maybe. Facebook group. Yeah. We'll learn the secret handshake.